Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Reflexes video and We've got some actually pretty interesting news today Some changes some things I wasn't expecting so oops, so we have Dragonite Baron who you may remember <laughs> that I talked about quite a bit in my videos We also have Superior being Hadler and also Hainical who I'm using every now and then so shop is the same with the shards in the in the shop which is good baron no upgrades but he didn't need any i'm surprised he didn't get a little upgrade because of uh you know the little android lady that's coming in a few months but his stmr is good his tmr is good the lb damage is not restricted to any to only him by the way i'm pretty sure about that I use, I use it on the JP version and he gets a global upgrade, but it's only for his SLB and so if, if, if the upgrade is the where there's not delayed and it's 27 hits without being delayed then that's a good buff but I don't know what else would be I don't know what else would be changed for it because I didn't think that he needed anything but he's only getting upgrade for his SLB so there's that and also Hadler who is just a TMR fodder unit, basically. His STMR is pretty good too, but this TMR is very good for Baron. 500 flat magic just for any uh, adventure of die units. So, yeah. He's basically a TMR fodder for Baron. So if you pull in this Baron and you get, you get both of them, then Baron will become a lot stronger. Because Baron already has a, quite a few killers. So it's easy to, to gear him. So there's that. Um, and we'll talk about the vision card very shortly here. Uh, okay, so there's a change where there, there's rank 1 to 1,000. It's the same reward. So if, as long as you're under 1,000, that means there can be more people that are going to be trying hard to stay in 1,000 though. Only, only There's only 1,000 people that can fit. <laughs> only 1,000 of you can fit in that spot. So... Work, work in there somehow unless, unless it's shared all rank ones are shared maybe that's the case then and a lot of you more of you can fit in, in that spot uh, and that's it so oh we should talk about the equipment the dark armor spear armor <laughs> is very good is very good it's a very good item um, the rest eh. Eh, I didn't even bother with the great axe. Yeah, it helps out the free unit, but meh. This one's good because it works for anyone. Attack and spirit, uh, true shield wield basically, I believe. So it's very good. It's a very good equipment. You know, the stats are a little low, but it's free, basically. Uh, the mirror of Shal Shalal. I don't even remember using this, so whatever. And... The Legendary Night Dragon uh, 5, very good for Baron as well. So this on top of um, Hadler's TMR helps out a lot. And uh, we don't really care too much about that last one, but it's okay. Okay, so we have also versus Lion Biruk. And there's a Mr. Crystal in there and yeah, so there's they can't even give us like a small little thing like they used to anymore apparently. It's fairly that's too hard to ask for. We got 3,000 lapis in there as well so you gotta get that in there that, that 3,000 lapis. There's many shards as well and this one is very helpful this time around because uh, I got a lot of Baron shards. Oh well, I'm gonna get EX3 for him for, because of this so I'm really glad this is still happening. Very good. And the main reason why you might be tempted to pull in this banner unintentionally I think and the reason why this changed is because apparently there was some uh, foreign language that advertised this card without any restrictions. So they decided just to remove the restriction. Um, so I think this card is worth pulling on just for anyone. 500 flat attack and magic, so it's very versatile. Yes, the little first damage is a lot less than Clash uh, Cogs and also Dark Reigns, but. 500 flat attack and magic at the end there is very nice. And of course the next one is restricted to Dragon Quest units. 
not very good, but it's okay, I guess, for high knuckle. And that's it for that. And finally, we have the exchange shop here, and I see there are some new players in my in my videos. So again, you only want to focus on the ones that are right here. Uh, and the Mr. Crystal Mascron are pretty expensive, so maybe not even that. I would only worry about the shards until you've gotten to a point where you don't need them anymore or you bought them already. Um, other than that, don't worry about buying any of this equipment because it's not worth it. Not worth it because they're TMR and STMRs of old units that you can just UOC if you want them. And that's it. So let me know what you guys think. It's time to go for Baron. Or, the, or are you still saving? I want to know. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next video. Peace.